from the back to the attack. The midfield linking up with the attack. And there's Scrop and Savage Ball in full flow. Yeah. FIFA 23 AS Roma career mode welcome we are in the middle of September we just had our first Champions League game it was away it was Barcelona and it was very controversial decisions just not going our way in that game but we managed to salvage a point and get out of there we move on today we have four big games we have Milan we have Lecce we have Genoa and we have Marseille so four games it's gonna be a long one Anyway, if you're going to enjoy the video, do drop a like on it and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. The first game against Milan, this is the team we will be going with against Milan. We're going back to our old formation, the same formation we played against Barca. So we're kind of realizing that against the bigger teams, we're going to, you know, revert back to type, revert back to what we know works. Yeah. So that's what we'll be looking to do again here today. We're facing Milan, the former champions now of course Juve are the champions of Italy after winning Serie A last season and this is a team who we beat away but barely just beat away and we managed to just get a draw I believe on the final day against them which actually gave us Champions League football both games I have to be honest and say we were outplayed by Milan but we're in a new season and we're hoping we have improved. We have brought Kumbula back into the team for Ramos. That's because we're looking to save Ramos as much as possible. We don't want him to get injured. Of course, he is much, much later on in his career. So much more injury prone. And we're kind of saving him more for the Champions League games specifically. And we're just giving Kumbula a chance in a big game after he had a very disappointing performance against Sampdoria. So we're hoping... He can get back to the player we saw last season who was a mainstay in our defense. And he can step up to the occasion. That's a decent ball in there. But we do not quite win it. Here come Milan again. And look at our defenders. Oh, lads, what's going on? Recover there, mate. Oh, just the ball in behind. There are so many errors there. I can't even point them all out. <sighs> We're 1-0 down. You saw it. You saw it. Why should I point it out, bro? You saw it. Losing position. Losing your man. Our left center back is on the right. Our right center back is on the left. Our central center back is not engaging. And Leal scores on the counter attack and we're a goal down at home. And our defense continues to be a problem for us. But here is a chance for us going forward. And the shot is saved. I really have not been impressed with our defense so far this season, man. Have we even kept a clean sheet so far? I doubt we have. Which is very weird because we conceded the least goals last season in Serie A. And we had the most clean sheets. But something just is not on. Maybe the players need a, need a bit of time to gel the new players at the back. The cross in there is cleared. Maybe they need time to build those relationships and the understanding. But yeah, it's not quite clicking so far. And the cross there is straight to the keeper. Here come Milan again. There's Tony Cross. Of course, we saw they signed him on deadline day as well. Very good player for them. Oh, my days. Look at the space there. We have so many players back, but they're still finding spaces, boys. And the shot there saved by Patricio. Ruben Neves on the edge of the box, taking it on. And we're struggling. We really are struggling. Corner to Milan. Whipped in. Headed out. Win that. Win that. Win the ball. Commit fully. There we are. Bring it down. And we're looking to hit them on the break. Running down the line here. Not much support for Simikas on the wrong side of the field. But we'll find Spilasola who's on the right side of the field. Will not find anybody in the middle. And that's another chance gone. 
Can we keep this in? No, we cannot. Into stoppage time. Can we get one more attack? Is Dybala. Nope, we cannot. A goal down. And we really haven't offered anything going forward, boys. One defensive mistake. And we were punished. And we have really struggled to create chances. Something just ain't clicking in the final third. And something just ain't clicking in our defense. Everything else was okay. But the two ends of the field are not as good as they really should be. But here is a chance for our attacking end of the field. Here is Tammy Abraham. And that's the man you want on the end of it. Not this time. Best chance of the game. Clearly the best chance of the game, Abraham. They're not being a clinical but here he is again and now we're starting to create some chances boys this is a much better start to the second half terrible cutback again from abraham and now another chance for them and leao is behind diving diving where's the yellow card ref i don't know what's happening this season so many players are just diving for fouls bro that time, however, the foul is not given. It's Timikas. Zaniolo to Abraham again. Abraham with another chance here. This time, again, straight at the keeper. So now those are two big chances Abraham has missed. Bro, we're facing a very top team. We're not going to have many chances. Cristante doing very well to win the ball back, but losing it because, yeah, there just wasn't enough movement ahead of him. The Banyas, they absolutely wiped out Leao. Advantage has played on. He is again. Get there. Kumbula clears it. They'll come back. Playing it. Looking to find space. Just keep the shape, boys. Keep the shape, boys. Okay, that's a good tackle. And we win it back. Now we look to go the other way. Here's Dybala. Dybala. Okay, here's Abraham. Does well. Wins the ball. Zaniolo. Zaniolo to Timikas. Put a cross in. Put a cross in. Put a cross in! Three times. Three times! I said put a cross in! Zaniolo will come off. We'll bring Arne Ziyech in the midfield there. Timikas. Fuck me, bro. We're going to bring on Zalewski for him. Spinazzola is looking tired. Abraham has been terrible. Mate, okay, hopefully Balotti can give us something. There's the pass in there. And oh, what a save. The changes are actually about to happen now. What another big chance. Oh. We're into the final 10 minutes here. Oh, out of position. Patricio saves again. Will we go back to think about all those missed chances? At the moment, it looks like we will. There are seven minutes left and we are still losing. Taken short. Neves Frost is blocked there. But, oh, he will keep it in, actually. Thought he was going to go out for a throw. It's Tony Kroos. Now we're struggling to get the ball back. Five minutes left. Really struggling with that midfield, of course, and Neves in there. Very difficult to get the ball off these guys. You can see how quick they're moving it around, finding the spaces, and oh my goodness, boys! Locked! Penalty. Another penalty. Honestly though, what's the point, bro? 2 no. What's the point of trying to keep your arm to your side if you're gonna lead with the arm? What's the point? What's the fucking point, mate? 
Penalty given, penalty converted, 2-0 and we're going to lose at home already. Kumbula again, chance given again, disappointing again. What's going on bro? <sighs> 90th minute and we are losing. We only lost one home game in all competitions last season. We're still in September and we're already losing at home to Milan. You know what's weird? This is actually probably our best performance against them. But it, is it going to be three? Oh my days, bro. This has been our best performance against them, but this time... Mistakes in key areas. Mistakes in the defense. Mistakes up top not being clinical. Abraham missing sitters. The final pass in the final third not clicking. An unnecessary handball given away for the penalty. And a moment of switching off for their first goal. And we lose. And we lose. That was a crushing defeat. Will it damage a team's confidence? I hope it doesn't because we're in September, bro. If our confidence is getting damaged now, then this is going to be a long season, mate. It's going to be a long season. We have to bounce back. We have to take that on the chin and accept that that was our own doing, that we made a lot of mistakes. And because of that, we got punished. Simple as facing a decent team in Milan. Well, it looks like they've definitely strengthened. Kroos and Nevis in the midfield were very difficult to deal with. Especially getting the ball back from them. It was extremely difficult. We were chasing shadows at times. But we kept it, you know. We kept them to long shots. But again, mistakes defensively and offensively cost us the game. But we move on. It's fine. It's fine. We move on quickly. Nikola Zalewski has actually suffered an injury, a broken toe. He will be out for three months. That's not going to be good. I guess he's not really a starter per se, but not good to have an injury. Mancini asking for some game time against Lecce. And after that performance from Kumbula, bro, why wouldn't I give him that game? Mancini will come in in, that mid, in the middle of the centre-backs. They were actually going to give Celic a game ahead of Spinazzola, who I believe just deserves a bit of a rest. Vigna will come in for Tsimikas. Ziyech will come in for Dybala and Balotti is in for Abraham. Fratesi also getting a game there. We're actually going to use the sim feature and see how it gets on. We haven't used it so far. Trying new things. Yeah. Let's see how we get out. We're away to Lecce. And I'm hoping I can trust these thorns to do something. Balotti getting his chance. Let's see if he'll take it. And they're actually, oh my days, they were actually just through there. They were through. <sighs> Keeping the old formation for now. Because I just want to get a result, bro. I don't know if using the new formation in the sim would be a good idea. But we're sticking with this one for now. We haven't had shot a shot. They've had two already. We've had most of the ball, only 20 minutes in though. They are playing a 4-3-3 formation. And so far we haven't done anything. But here's a chance for us on the attack. Moving it around and there is... Oh, it's actually Belotti. Ziyech finding Belotti. And Belotti is taking a chance. Abraham missing sitters. You're getting pulled, bro. It doesn't matter what you did five games ago. Yeah, you're getting pulled. You have Belotti who's ready to step in. And he does step in quite nicely. And gets a goal for us. Oh, another chance there for Lecce. I'm not really liking how many chances they're getting. Belotti currently our highest rated player so far. With a 7.2. It's trying to get a second before half time. We're close to the break. And the shot there is saved. I really am hoping I'm not going to have to jump in here and do something myself. Hoping the boys can be trusted. 61% position at halftime. Two shots to do three. One chance though. Not too sure how that works out. Two shots, one chance. But as it is. Okay, boys. So far, so good. Just need to cut out some things defensively. Yeah. And let's just 
get a second. If we get a second, we can possibly yet jump to the result and see if Utahns held on. But only one goal up. I'm really not comfortable. Okay, multiple fouls here early in the second half. But here we are going forward. And Zaniolo outside there to Vigna. Vigna with the ball in there to Belotti. And Belotti's shot is saved at the near post. Out swinging ball from Hakim Ziyech. We'll recover the ball. No, we will not. Vigna losing out there. And now, Lecce on the attack. Into the box. And a shot is wide. Another shot for Lecce. They have more shots than us now. Okay, here we are on the attack. Let's let this lead to something, boys. Well, it didn't. 65 minutes gone. It's getting nervy now. It's getting nervy heading into the final 20 minutes of the game. And here come Lecce again. And the ball is through there. And it's 1-1. Yeah, you lot just can't be trusted. You just can't be trusted. Let's actually make some changes. We're going to take off Zadiolo. We'll bring on Kovacic. We're going to bring on Dybala for Ziyech. And we're going to bring on Abraham. You're fresh, bro. Yeah, hopefully you can come on and get us a winner. You're fresh and we're actually going to jump in. <sighs> These lads cannot be trusted to do it by themselves. You always have to step in. Here is Abraham finding the ball there. To Vigna. Vigna is through. All the time in the world. And it's wide. All the time in the world, bro. All the time in the world. All of the goal to aim for. And you aim for the crowd. Fuck me. Final five minutes of this game. Good interception there from Dybala. The run is from Abraham and the ball is very good to Abraham. Abraham will take a very good touch and a second and the third is saved. Big chance again. Missed by Tammy. Would Belotti have scored that? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, going forward again. There's still a chance. Here is Abraham again. Tammy Abraham will cut across. Now to Dybala. And we get the goal and we hopefully get the win. And Paolo Dybala has to do it himself. Credit to Abraham for the cutback. Credit to him. But fuck me, bro. The chance you just missed. Wow. Don't know what's happening with you. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you fine, bro? Because we're kind of depending on you for goals. But it's fine there. Providing, being the provider this time. It's okay. It's okay. We'll bring on Tsimikas just to see out the game. And we're going to take off Fratesi and bring on Kamara. And that is full time. We hang on to a 2-1 win against Lecce. Not pretty, but did enough. Had to jump in and kind of guide the boys to victory. Hey, Jaffa, thanks for listening to what I had to say. I really appreciate the chance while I'm in such good form. I mean, bro, calm it down a bit, yeah? It was just Lecce, so we got the job done. It was not a great performance. We keep moving, moving on to the next game. We're going to be implementing that new formation once again. This time we will be sticking with Belotti up top. He did get his goal and Abraham has... Looked a bit suspect at the moment. So Balotti will start up top. Ramos, Mancini and Ibanez at the back. So this time a rest to Badia Shield. And this time we are using the highlights. Let's see how we get on in this one. This is not looking too good. Okay, we dealt with that. Genoa. On the attack. Good play, good play. Just show him outside. Win that. Oh, it's just wide. And a free kick for us in the 32nd minute. In an awkward position. It's a crossing situation, isn't it? Might as well put Dybala on it. Try to whip this in there. And see if we can find a guy in the red shirt. Whipped in. Oh, that's a... That's a terrible cross in there. He overdone it, bro. Counter-attack for us. on the ball okay played too much from Ziyech too much uh, 47th minute now we're into the second half and another chance is Belotti takes a touch has to take it quickly had to take it quickly bro you don't have the legs to get away from your defenders like that mate 
I have to try something a bit different here. Okay, boys, we really need a goal now. It's been a tour, lah. To Belotti. Belotti. Well, if I could intervene, I would be bringing Abraham on right about the 60th minute. But of course, in the highlights, you can't really do much. So Belotti is going to have to do it for us or somebody else is. Because I can't change anything, boys. 64th minute, Dybala on the corner. And I have to say, the chances we've had have not been great, bro. We'll take it short and try to work it into the box. On the turn is Siesh and Siesh. Hits it over the top. 79th minute. Solo run. Does this mean you're through? Maybe you're one-on-one -on -one with a defender. There's only one defender, bro. Come on, Belotti, mate. Come on, Belotti. Hit it. Not straight at the keeper. Full time. Nil-nil against Genoa. Uh, uh, wow, okay. Not a good result at all, mate. Not a good result. Thanks, Only have to settle for a point at home to Genoa, and we have to keep stepping. We're going to reflect on all these results at the end, boys. But right now, second game in the group stages against Olympic Marseille. First home game in the Champions League. So, uh, let's give the crowd something, because we haven't won now in our last two home games. Just due to Genoa, and we lost to Milan. So now we have to win. Come on, boys. We have to win. These stones lost to Hearts, yeah, in the opening game. So I'm not sure. Hearts aren't some world beaters, are they? So uh, if you're losing to these stones, then coming to the Olympico should be a tough task for you. So, well, it's up to us to make it a tough task. And Marcel, bro, I'm not too sure what you're doing right now because the team is not clicking. Yeah, you have to fucking shoot a rocket up, up these guys' asses because something is not right. We have to fix something and he is clearly not happy and the squad are clearly not happy and the fans, I would presume, are not happy no at the moment. But this is a chance for us to regain our momentum, to regain ourselves and put in a very good performance today here in the Champions League. First home game, like I said, in the Champions League. So let's give something for the crowd to cheer about. Get them on our side early on and put pressure on Marseille. Champions League music, boys, if you needed any extra motivation, we're actually playing the possession-based formation or Cop and Savage ball, as we call it, yeah? We're gonna try it again. This time we're trying it against quite a tough opponent, at least on paper, Marseille. You'd think of Barcelona in there, it looks as if Barca would probably top the group, and it's really up to us or Marseille to get out of the group as runners up but as it stands right now we're second before kickoff behind hearts which is slightly surprising and marseille are bottom this is a big game we're at home if we win our home games and we get results away like we did against barca i believe we'll be fine it's interesting to see how the formation will be depicted in this graphic i'm pretty sure they're gonna have it wrong yeah they do have it wrong because of course Castante and kovacic are the double pivot and zaniolo and dibala are the two number tens I don't know what they're showing there, but it's fine. It's fine. We do have Hakim Ziyech on the bench. This time we're going with Zaniolo and Dybala. And we're going with Abraham up top. Hoping he can recapture his form in this game because he has been off it in the last two or three games. But here's Dybala with the ball wide there. Two wards, Spinazzola crossed in and cleared out. Head of one, recycle the ball. And Chini. Keeping his position at the back. Kovacic, very good ball there. And Dybala's shot is blocked. And Abraham's shot is wide. This is a decent start from us. Just a foul to Abraham there. And he just hooked it wide. Now here come Marseille. Good block there from Mancini. Another block from Mancini. Bloody hell, mate. Okay, we see why you want to play, bro. But if you keep this up, that spot is yours. Here's Abraham. The run is from Dybala. And we will find Dybala. His first touch is not great, but we will get a foul. Gonna play it short. Hey, Spinazzola. Spinazzola takes on the shot. And Spinazzola puts it in the net. Okay. 
Where did that come from? Okay, this is... Whoa! Okay, yeah, the stats aren't showing for some reason. I don't know, but bro, my man just turned and was like, you know what? I'm gonna line this up, bro. Yeah, going for goal and he just smashes it. That's such a good shot, bro. It's not even that high. It hits the back of the net, bottom corner, actually. And Leonardo Spinazzola take a bow, mate. We lead 1-0. Well, there it is. The hosts haven't had that much of the ball, but when they have had the it, turn. I don't know why Abraham is coming this deep, bro. You should be much higher up the field. It's Kovacic. Leading up with Spinozola back to Kovacic, driving us forward, but the touch is a bit heavy. And cannot control the ball. Now here come Marseille. 35 minutes gone. They have not tested our defense nor our goalkeeper yet, but this may be a chance for them to do just that. But Benoit Badiashil says no. Yeah, that's not about to happen. Very good defensive intervention from him. And there's the run. Play it. Oh, tackle from behind, ref. We were about to play the pass there. What's that then? Just a yellow. Of course, it's just a yellow. No VAR. No checking this. Nothing. It's Kovacic. Kovacic. To Dybala. Dybala to Spinazzola. Spinazzola. And Sola to the byline. Corner. The ball on the corner. Always looking for Abraham. Will not be Abraham. Will be Zaniolo. And the ref says a penalty. And we finally get a decision. Come our way. Guess what, everybody? VAR is working now. Yeah? No penalty! Oh, lads, we have to do this the hard way every fucking time, but it's fine. Oh, Spinazzola. Very good performance so far in this half. We have noted that Marseille have not troubled us at all at the back. But here they are. And clear that. And Buddy Shield will clear that. And that will be half time. 1-0 up, that that. could be more, very comfortable, but I'd like a goal or two more just to, you know, stamp that authority on the game. We've actually made a few tweaks at halftime, tactically. I will show them to you in a bit, but we're hoping that they're going to allow us to dominate the ball even more. Here's some space for Cristante to take the shot, but it is blocked. Under to the middle there to Gunduzi. Gunduzi looking to get us forward. Some defending to do. Oh, Kovacic could not quite get a foot in there. And Roger does. Roger always does. That's more like it. Looking to get us forward now. Tackle there, but we still have it. Was deemed a clean tackle. Although I thought otherwise. I guess Benatola in a good position. That's a hell of a ball! What a ball that is! What a cross! Pin point, bro! He put it on his forehead, bro. Abraham could have stood still and it would have still reached him. What a cross that is! Did not have to break his stride at all. And Tammy Abraham nods us home. Leonardo Spinazzola is on fire. And Tammy Abraham back on the score sheet. We lead 2-0. It's Kovacic driving us forward. Very good play from him. It's Zaniolo, Zaniolo, ball there to Vigna. Vigna crossed in to Abraham. And Abraham still has it. And Abraham towards the middle. And the shot from Vigna is off the crossbar. Okay, lads. Okay, lads. This is more like it. Kopin Savage ball in full force. Pinning guns back. Putting them under constant pressure. And peppering them. We have stepped it up in the second half. 
And we almost got our third goal there. Now let's get a press going. See if we are as effective at pressing. We are, bro. We definitely are. Ball in there to Dybala. Dybala in space. Dybala takes the shot. But the keeper makes the save. Let's get another press going. Oh, this. Oh, we may have messed it up here. Unless, oh, there's Mancini getting involved. They're stepping out of the defense and winning the ball. That's the thing, bro. If you're in the central center back and you step out, you have to win it. If you don't win it, we are exposed at the back. A foul there on Spinazzola. Will it be another card? A yellow card to Milik. And you can see the frustration starting to sink in to Marseille. We're actually going to make some changes here. We'll bring on Hakim Ziyech for Paulo Dybala. Just give him a bit of a rest. And we will bring on Tsimikas there for Spinazzola. I actually put Vigna on the right. We don't really have a right wing back on the bench there. So we kind of just have to make do with what we have. And we'll bring on Fratesi for Zaniolo. There was Simicas trying to drive us forward and the press again. But this time the play through and the ball is through. But if we can, we can still recover. And we have the ball over the top there though. Brought down. Oh, Spinatola just missed and the goals are blue for some reason. Save there from Patricio. Not too sure what's happening there, bro. But it is what it is. It's fine. We'll bring on Kamara for Cristante. Give him a rest as well. Trying to get a press going here. We're into the 90th minute and we are still pressing very high. This has been a very good performance from us. This has been our best performance of the season thus far. And there's the press again, winning the ball in the opposition half. And there's the ball played in there towards Hakim Ziyech. And Hakim Ziyech will make it 3. 3-0. Three Perfect performance from the boys. From the back to the attack. The midfield linking up with the attack. And there's Scrop and Savage ball in full flow yeah dominating teams pinning them back and the new formation is proving to be very effective the counter pressing the pressing the defending this has just been a 10 out of 10 performance for us boys it really has been and Ziyech seals it off with a 3-0 win in our first game in the Champions League at home and the crowd will definitely be happy about that Beating Marseille puts us in a very good position. Four points now in our first two games. And we've already played Marseille and Barcelona. Just looking at the possession stats, you can see how much our threat increased in that second half there, bro. Like, in the first half, we were still pretty dominant. But in that second half, bro, it was just us, really. It was just us. And that's because of certain tactics we slightly tweaked. So it's good to see that they worked their 3-0 win at home. I have no complaints whatsoever about that, bro. Like all over the field. And this is what we changed. We actually changed from a fast buildup to a more balanced buildup. And we changed from forward runs to direct passing that allowed us to be more methodical in possession and allowed us to not to rush to get forward and not for players to rush to get ahead to actually come short and help in the build-up play. So I think that's just a slight tweak we're going to make to that formation. Spinazzola scores his first goal of the season and what a goal it was. And through that goal and two others, we are top of the group after two games. Barcelona only on two points. So they drew with Hearts. What's going on with Hearts, bro? Hearts beat Marseille and drew with Barca. Should we be worried because we're playing them next? I'm not too sure. In the table, in the league, we are currently 8th. We currently only have 10 points, but it's still early. And it doesn't look as if any team is currently running away with it. As of now, we're actually still above the likes of Juve, who are the current champions. So, uh, it's still tight. Only 6 games in and Udinese have lost 6 out of 6. Bloody hell, that's terrible for them. Anyway, coming up next, we have Lazio. I don't have to say more. Lazio, of course. Derby della Capitale coming up next. And then we have Hellas Verona, who we beat in the Coppa Italia final. And then we have Hearts, who are just smoking everybody at the moment. And we better be careful because we're going away to Hearts. And yeah, that may be a tougher fixture than we may have previously anticipated. So let me know your thoughts about today's episode. A bit of a mixed one. We lost to Milan, but then we dominated Marseille. A disappointing draw against Genoa. And again, I also had to step in and help us get over the line against Lecce in another league game. 
Let me know your thoughts. Drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. And please do subscribe not to miss any future videos. I've been Quiggy Crusher. I will see you guys next time.